Hampshire Police Constable, 48-year-old David Longdon Thurgood. We reported on him in June last year and January this year over allegations that he had raped a woman in her home whilst her child slept in the house. He has now been cleared of rape after the CPS dropped the prosecution, allegedly because the complainant did not want to give evidence. This is the one who met the woman on a dating app. The following day, she invited him to her home, which is an incredibly stupid thing to do, by the way. They kissed and touched on the sofa, but when they decided to go upstairs to watch telly, the victim allegedly told him that there would be no funny business. Sex occurred, whether consensually or not, and I have to say that because although he, although he hasn't been cleared as such, the charges have been dropped, so as far as I'm concerned, it's still up in the air. But the following day, there were text messages between the pair in which the victim said, how do you just move on from having unconsensual sex with someone? Thurgood had appeared already at Winchester Crown Court, twice already. However, the first time in June 2022, four jurors tested positive for COVID and the retrial, and at the retrial, the jury were unable to find a verdict and so a re-retrial was set. It seems as though, from what the prosecutor said at the most recent re-retrial, that Thurgood had been extremely lucky because prosecutor Rebecca Fairburn told the hearing at Salisbury Crown Court the complainant in this case was consulted. Having been through two trials, the complainant did not wish to go through a third trial. Can't exactly blame her, can you? Accordingly, the Crown do not consider it to be in the public interest to compel her to attend any further trial and her wishes have been respected in that regard. The Crown would like to formally offer no evidence in this matter. So, and this is where I have to be careful what I say, Judge Richard Parks QC recorded a verdict of not guilty against David Longdon Thurgood and the case was officially dismissed. Now let's be clear, although I'm not making any assumptions here, if a victim or witness or the prosecution witness, whatever you want to call them, fails to give evidence, then there is no choice, if that's the only evidence, but for the trial to be dismissed. But that does not mean that the person on trial is or was not guilty. I mean, it doesn't make them guilty either, but it's important to remember that it doesn't make them not guilty, even in cases where it may be blatantly obvious of guilt. No, a no show of witness can see the person on trial walk free. Just look at old mafia movies where people disappeared and couldn't give evidence even though it was clear as day the person was guilty. In law, if there's no tangible evidence, there's no case. Now the only people who really know what happened that night are the victim and Hampshire PC, David Longdon Thurgood and whichever, them, whichever of them is lying, they're going to have to live with that. But my concern now is with that element of doubt hanging over him. Will Thurgood be welcomed back into the force from his suspension or will there be a misconduct hearing which will look at the balance of probabilities rather than beyond reasonable doubt? Because it seems to me, based on the conversations the pair had after that night, it's probable that something did occur as Thurgood told the woman she was overreacting after she mentioned the unconsensual sex. Personally, I think his career is over, or at least there is too much out there now for anyone to completely trust him, so I would be surprised if he isn't dismissed, but... This is the police we're talking about, of course, and they might use this as a PR exercise to say, see, we're not all rapists. When in fact he was only found not guilty because there was no evidence, rather than being found not guilty because of the evidence. Now, of course, you'll have to make your own minds up what you think about this, but I will keep my eyes open for a mention of a misconduct hearing 